is the installation called the procession. Majestic and tall, lining up along a pathway, it's colorful and eye-catching. There's another called the journey. The word and the art form certainly makes you think. The imagery of a person on a path of life. The creator and artist is sculptor Keith Bryant. My whole strategy for making work is to abstract it or make it a big enough step back that people can still insert themselves into the work without having to have all the backstory to understand it. Bryant is also a veteran educator. He's been a college art professor for some 30 years, first at Central Piedmont Community College, then UNC Charlotte. This is probably true for most educators, but seeing them start with a not a very big knowledge base and then grow from there, you know, whether it's technically or aesthetically or hopefully both simultaneously. And that can be really exciting. But creating art has been his passion for more than three decades. A lot of hard work, uh, drive, a passion for making objects out of other objects or out of nothing, depending upon what material you're working with. We join Bryant at his studio, a converted garage. Some of my friends tease me about it being my man cave. Bryant's studio is full of tools. As a sculptor using different materials, he says he needs them all. Steel, obviously, it's welders and grinders, and I've got a plasma cutter. And with ceramics, I've got all the equipment that you'd have in a ceramic studio. So I'm kind of a tool junkie. I love tools. I don't go to one material. Like I don't always work in metal. I don't always work in wood. I don't always work in clay. I let the ideas tell me what I need to work in. One of his series represents emotions from words, like yield. How we have the inability to yield to each other's ideas or to you know, make space for others. You know, people that are, we disagree with or different than us, we sort of have gotten to that point where we, you know, we aren't willing to kind of do the give and take that makes things work. Another word, ripple. I like the notion of how there's a reaction to an action that keeps moving through time and space. And Brian also likes to work with what he calls found objects. This is a piece he calls idol. It's just an old, small, worn out broom head. It had some sort of resonance to me that sort of thinking about how we elevate sort of common objects and ideas and people to the status of being an idol. The evolution of an artist takes time, and Bryant is the first to admit he didn't always know this was his path. I didn't know when I got out of high school, I was sort of, you know, do I want, what do I want to do? You know, I was sort of at that point in my life where I didn't know what I wanted to do, and I actually ended up going to tech school and um, got a certificate for auto body paint. That didn't lead to a career, but Bryant says he learned how to work with metal. He eventually went on to college and even earned his master's in art. Bryant's art for several years was impacted by the loss of his wife to illness in 2013. She was a beloved painter herself. Working through his grief also led to this, called 365, a way to look at each day and see it. Here's a day that has potential. It's, it's a brand new day. There's, you know, history has not yet been written on this day. And so, you know, try to make the best out of it. Take, uh, take advantage of the opportunities that it presents, and uh, you know, and then your life will be richer for that. When you spend time with Keith Bryant, so you can the, feel um, the teacher in him. He wants to impart so much more than what you can see. Creating the next opportunity is what drives him as an artist, and he believes you don't always have to have all the answers at once. That is part of the fun and part of the challenge, um, trying to figure out how to, how to make it all be cohesive. And this one, I think, is gonna have more of a formal quality to it. Um, you know, some of my work is, is based on really strong emotions, but this might teach me something about some kind of emotion or idea that I don't, I'm not aware of just yet. And from that studio comes all this as the artist and teacher continues his journey. For Carolina Impact, I'm Suzette Reed reporting. 
We hope you enjoyed the story. If you don't want to miss any more great stories about the Charlotte region, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.